So good morning again. Um, I wish to take this opportunity particularly to welcome those of you who are here, uh, uh, who have come to participate in our symposium today, which will be focusing on African leadership. This symposium is organized, it's a joint uh, organization of the African Research and Resource Forum and the Great Lakes University of Kisumu. And I will be facilitating this particular session. My name is Rose Olayo. I work with Great Lakes University of Kisumu. I wish to recognize, before we start, the presence of different institutions that are participating here this morning. And I will start by recognizing, because we have students who have come from different uh, university, universities within the region, I'm told, uh, Kisumu Polytechnic is here. Are you around? Kisumu Polytechnic, thank you for coming. We also have uh, Maseno University. Are they already here or they are the, on their way coming? I think Maseno University, they are on their way coming. KCA? KCA? You're already here. We also have uh, Masinde Mliro University. I think they are on their way coming as well. I also want to uh, welcome the members of staff from Great Lakes University who are represented here. We have different heads of departments, our deans and our professors representing the university here today. And we also have a presentation from uh, staff who have come all the way from Nairobi from the African Research and Resource Forum who are in this Paul, could you greet the audience? <laughs> Some of them I think are, are downstairs. We also have in our audience the members of the media if they have already arrived. We are expecting uh, the members of the media also to participate in this session. Uh, we also have members who have come from the public uh, based on the publicity that was around this particular activity for today, who are with, here with us today. So we welcome all of you uh, in this particular interesting session and we hope that you will enjoy uh, the session. I want to take this opportunity to introduce our panelists who are with us today. And to start with, I would like to introduce Mze Odinge Odera. Could you welcome Mze Odinge Odera? Mze Odinge Odera is uh, one of the editors of the African Journal and he was a speechwriter and a very close confidant of the late Mze Jaramogi Odinge Odinga. So he will be the key uh, panelist for our day today. He will be sharing with us his experience of his journey with Jaramogi Oginga Odinga as an example of an African leader. Uh, we have with us also uh, representing the family of the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, we have Barry Lachieng Odinga, who is representing the family here with us. Can we welcome to the uh, With us also is Professor Igara Kibaji. Professor Igara Kibaji is a professor at Masinde Muliro University and also the Director of Communication and Publishing. We welcome Professor Kibaji. <laughs> we also have with us uh, Professor Richard Muga. Professor Muga is the Vice Chancellor of Great Lakes University of Kisumu. Uh, could we welcome Professor Muga? <laughs> and we also want to recognize the presence of uh, George Omondi, George Omondi is the CEO of African Research and Resource Forum. Thank you very much. To kick us off, I think uh, we would go straight on and we, I want to welcome Professor Muga to give us a welcoming address. Karibu Professor Muga.
our uh, guest of honor, Mr. Odinge Odera, the family representative of the late Jaramogi Odinge Odinga, Perry, uh, Professor Kibaja, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this opportunity that for a minute we just keep silent to remember the many heroes that fought to help us reach where we are today. And among them is the late Jaramogi Odinga Odinga. For a minute. I remember the late Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, some from his writings and some when I was in Form 6 at Alliance High School. And this was starting from 1971. And there are many good things that happened and yet they paid for it. And many of us may not know. When today we have a chance to sit at the Great Lakes University of Kisumu together with the, uh, the forum, we are remembering a man who dedicated his life, who paid for many things by taking a risk and demonstrating leadership. And we want to thank Odinge Odera for documenting because many people in this room uh, maybe did not come into encounter with him. And we thank you for telling us what you know, what you saw. And we thank Barry for coming to tell the story of her dear father. For us, this university stands for promotion of development, constructive development and health systems. And in this region, the largest hospital that we have here for a long time was called Russia. And we want to tell you, if it was not Yaramogi or Gingo Dinga, we would not be having Russia here today. You need to know, the name was changed to Provincial General Hospital. I was the director of that hospital in 1991-92. And that time we still had doctors coming from Russia to work with us. So when we sit in this region, there are many people who worked hard, who paid with their life to bring the fruits that we see today. We want to say that he demonstrated the leadership that is desired. And when we talk of leadership, many of us sometimes think it is, it is just the politician who is a leader. But you may find you are heading a department, you are heading a location, you are heading a district, you are a leader. You add value. And so today, we welcome you to this university and we thank you for coming. I want to bring the apologies of the Chancellor of the University, Professor David Wasau. Professor David Wasau became a lecturer in 1953 and he told me that he was taught by the late Jaramogi in 1938. Don't ask me, my mother was not married that time. <laughs> but then they wedded in 1939, so it was just around that time. And he, we sent a vehicle to pick him, but he was feeling unwell and he sent the vehicle to come back. So I bring his greetings to you, the Chancellor of the University, Professor David Wassam. I also bring greetings of the Chairman of the University Council, Professor John Kukwa. We were with him in Nairobi yesterday. I told him I will fly back to Kisumu this morning to attend this important lunch. And so we want to thank the sister universities and ask you to feel welcome. This is 
the real education. When you sit and you listen to this type of discussion, that's when your eyes and your ears get open. Because then you can get a glimpse of where are we coming from and where are we going. And the late Karamogi, when he brought this hospital, he wanted every Kenyan in this region to access quality care. And we wish to tell him where he's sleeping that we have not reached there and that the journey continues. And so that this book will remind us the goods, the struggles that they made to make Kenya a different country. And so for me, as the acting vice chancellor, I want to invite you and ask you to feel welcome and say that this war, this struggle, must continue until Kenyans can access quality life, quality care, have enough democratic space, be responsible people, have justice, and have all the injustices removed from our midst. I welcome all of you, and I thank you, uh, Master of Ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Muga. Uh, I wish to invite uh, George Omoni to give us uh, the opening remark. Um, thank you very much, uh, Ross. Mze um, Odeira, who is the chief guest. Um, Professor Muga, the Vice Chancellor of the Great Lakes University, Beryl Achen, representing the Jeramogi family, and my friend Professor Gara Kabaji. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Um, what I'll do in, in, in a very short time is two things actually. One is to introduce to you the African Research and Resource Forum. I'll take this opportunity to tell you in brief what is it that we do. Why is it that we are involved with this? Why are we here today? What's, what's our interest as an organization and so on? And then I will also give you a little bit of information about this specific uh, particular undertaking, the book that we are discussing today and the entire project within which uh, it fits. And so starting with the first one, um, some of you may have either through the internet or other material come to know what ARF is. But ARF is essentially um, a policy think tank, um, policy research institute that is regional, that is concerned about development policy making in Eastern Africa. And when we say Eastern Africa, we mean the East African community, the five, the five countries of the East African community, and another five countries around, around them. So that is to say, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, Somalia, uh, Ethiopia, Sudan, Eritrea. This, this, and, and Djibouti. These are the countries in which we work. And we have a number of programs. Uh, uh, I will not go into the details of each of them. Uh, if you, like I expect everybody here is linked to the internet, please take some time to log on to www.arrforum.org for more information. But the five main activities that we run have to do with policy research, like you could expect, development policy research, especially at the regional level, dealing with some of the most difficult questions that development policy makers are asking themselves. Initially, our research <coughs> concentrated on governance, you know, regional governance. But now we are expanding into other things, including regional economic development, some, some, some social uh, development research, and so on. Uh, the other thing that we do is to network the national policy research institutes within the region. Um, I mean, there are so many research institutes in these five countries of the ESC and the other five countries that I talked about, and it is becoming increasingly clear that the development